to give you just an update, today a uh, battalion of uh, the ANDF uh, just moved in uh, to, and I know uh, this is something um, Major General Radina sh sh should have broken as, as, as uh, something. We have done uh, every effort on our part to make sure that uh, all the heavy weapons uh, that we have at our disposal are there uh, for the inter for for the monitors to, to to monitor. Of course, the battalion that is res that's responsible uh, has already moved uh, into the position, and it clearly showed that uh, with a clear understanding between our two sides, there is nothing uh, that cannot be achieved. And I would have preferred for for uh, uh, Chief Obasanjo and uh, my brother President Kenata to be there uh, to see for themselves how committed we are uh, to, to, to implement this and implement it fully. Uh, yes, we can get more things done. We still have a long way to go uh, before we can say that. Spoilers, in, in the form of uh, external forces, uh, there are a number of things that need to be done with respect to the protection of civilians. But what we have seen so far is that as long as we continue to put our heads together, there is nothing we cannot achieve. There is every uh, hope and expectation on our part that we, by continuing to work together, will be in a position to uh, ensure lasting peace. The launch of the monitoring verification and compliance mechanism is an important milestone in the implementation of the peace accord we concluded in Pretoria. The conflict that has ravaged the northern part of Ethiopia for the last two years has been very tragic and deadly. It has caused a great deal of pain and suffering. The agreement we have concluded in Pretoria has been a major breakthrough for those who have prayed and toiled for peace. The agreement laid the foundation for lasting peace through a permanent cessation of hostilities. It has effectively silenced the guns. If we keep the course we have adopted in the past few months, we are headed in the right direction and will arrive at a very good destination. The government of Ethiopia believes that the launch of this mechanism will provide an impetus in our effort to build an enduring peace.